Getting through the Lost Woods to the Korok Forest is a good feature of any Legend of Zelda game, and in Tears of the Kingdom it is a little different from previous titles, as the Lost Woods always engulf you in mist. Today I'm going to show you how to get through the Lost Woods so you can reach Korok Forest and save the Deku Tree from the gloom in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Well, rather than go through the Lost Woods to get to Korok Forest, you can go under the maze. So if you try to go through the Lost Woods to get to Korok Forest, the mist will keep getting you and you won't be able to get to Korok Forest. So what you want to do is go underground and go through the depths. Okay, let's have a closer look at how to get through the Lost Woods. So there's a chasm very close to the Lost Woods called the Minshi Woods Chasm, and that is located at the coordinates 1063 1655-0167 and you can get there by going to the Elden Canyon Skyview Tower, jump off the tower, go to the left and make your way to the Minshi Woods, open up the map and then place a marker on Korok Forest and that is at the center of the Lost Woods. You can then use that marker to guide you when you are down in the depths. So once you place the marker, dive into the chasm and head towards the marker you just placed. Use bright bloom seeds to light up the depths to help you see where you're going and avoid the gloom on the ground and climb into the trees if necessary and jump from tree to tree. You're looking for the Rikonasum light route. If you follow your marker you placed on Korok Forest, this should take you directly to that light route, but do be aware of the enemies down there, particularly the gloom hands if they appear. They are really, really dangerous enemies. So I jumped into the trees and the gloom hands just went away, so I think that's probably a good way to do it. Next to the Rikonasum light route, there will be a concrete ceiling and you can ascend up into Korok Forest. Okay, next up we want to save Korok Forest. So Korok Forest is not the bright and vibrant place we remember. It's dark and it's dank because there's something wrong with the Deku Tree and all the Koroks. To help save the Deku Tree, you're going to need to dive into the Deku Tree Chasm found under the Deku Tree itself and then battle against the Gloom Hands and also Phantom Ganon. Before jumping down into the chasm, I do recommend preparing, as it can be quite a tough fight. So you want to fuse weapons to make good blades to fight with. You want to bring at least 6 to 10 bomb flowers, you know, more if you can grab them. Also, make meals to replenish energy, and cooking with Sunderlion also helps with gloom-afflicted hearts. So, once you're prepared, jump down into the Deku Tree Chasm. First of all, you're going to need to defeat the Gloom Hands. So take them out with the bomb arrows by attaching bomb flowers to the arrows. If you shoot into the middle, you should be able to hit multiple hands at the same time. And this should take roughly five or six bomb flowers to kill them all. Then you have to face Phantom Ganon. This is all about dodging, parrying and flurry rushing Phantom Ganon. So he'll come towards you, raise his sword for a second and then he'll strike. What you want to do is either parry or dodge out of the way using the jump button. And you want to get that perfect timing to get in a flurry rush attack. This is going to cause the most damage. You can also parry, as I mentioned, although I found the Flurry Rush was much better for damage. Do this a few times, avoid the Gloom and defeat Phantom Ganon, and you're going to remove the Gloom from the Korok Forest, save the Deku Tree, plus also Phantom Ganon will drop a really, really nice sword, and also a really good bow as well. Once you save the Deku Tree, you get a nice cutscene with Link and Zelda in Korok Forest, and then the Deku Tree is going to mark the location for the Light Dragon on your map, and you'll get the quest, Recovering the Hero Sword. And then you are free to go and get the Master Sword. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get through the Lost Woods to Korok Forest in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Tears of the Kingdom content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to Triforce Times. Or you can check me out on Twitter at Triforce Times. Well, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out all the other videos for Tears of the Kingdom on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.